they call Robbie Cusetta. Raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Rob, just for the record, can you uh, say your name spelled out last name for us and the relationship to the family? Yeah, my name is Robert Cresetta, C R U C E T A, and I'm Madison's older brother, and Jackie is my mom. Do you have a letter you wrote today? Yes, ma'am. Okay, cool. Good morning, Your Honor. I appreciate the opportunity to speak today. Like I said, my name is Robert Cusetta, and I'm Madison's older brother. June 3rd, 2023 is the day my family and I's life changed forever. The phone call I received from my mother that day is an image I can't get out of my head, and the sound of her voice is something that plays in my head daily. That feeling of helplessness is a feeling I hope to never experience again. As an older brother and son, all I wanted to do was be there. I couldn't drive due to how distraught I was, so my friend drew me, drove me through the night to, to get to them that same day. Watching your mother and your sister fighting for their life is absolutely terrifying, but I don't think that is nearly as terrifying as what Madison had to endure in months leading up to this incident. Being scared of someone she once trusted, being a new driver, and being followed by him in fear of her own safety in the town that she grew up in. This is what my little sister had to deal with due to the defendant's actions. Madison was my first younger sibling and my only little sister. With that being said, I have always had a deep sense of protection over her and I've always loved and cherished being her older brother. If anyone knows Madison, they know that she is light in every room she walks into. She never fails to make everyone laugh and smile. And for me, she was my first and very best friend. Being six years older than Madison, I was so excited to be a big brother and I would, I would sing to her while she would be in her crib. She would hold my finger and I would stay there for as long as she held it because I felt like I couldn't leave. Going from that to holding her hand, looking at her over her hospital bed is a drastic change that I never expected would happen. And I would have stood there forever if that's what she needed. As I'm here today, I'm honored to say that I do not see my sister cry or get scared or let this incident change who she is as a person. I've watched Madison grow, educate, inspire, and even comfort those affected by what happened to her and my mother. She has used what has happened to, reach, to teach others and never complains about it. Madison has made a change not only in her school, but the community and other individuals around the world. Madison is the definition of using a negative and turning it into a positive. I am immensely and forever proud of the progress that she has made. My mom is an amazing mother. My mom is an amazing mother, aunt, sister, and friend. But most importantly, she is one of the greatest people you could ever meet. She goes above and beyond for everyone and makes every child feel like her own, and the love she gives definitely does not go unnoticed. Everyone would be lucky to have her in their life, and I am so lucky and so thankful I get to call her my mother. She is so proud of each and every one of her kids for different things, and, and ne will never pass up an opportunity to tell everyone's success before her own. I hope to be half the parent she is someday and half as strong as Madison, and if I can su succeed in that, then I will feel accomplished. Spencer may have thought that he was taking my sister and my mother's life that day, but instead he only took his own freedom. And as her older brother,
as your older brother, I ask that he is never able to have the freedom to do this to anyone else ever again. The pain from a high school breakup is not even comparable to the pain and trauma that my mother and sister have to endure from this horrific day for the rest of their life. That's all I have. Thank you, sir. Thank you for joining me. Thank you.